So, you want to make pathfinding in your Godot game? I am here to help you. Hey, it's Ives. In this new mini-series, I am going to teach you the pathfinding done with the navigation property of tilemap tiles. The tutorial was repeatedly requested as the logical sequel to my Hardbeast crossover and my Combat Essential series, so here it is. The art is by Genoville, link to him is in the description. There is also a GitHub repository where you can download this project, including the initial version, with which I am going to work right now. This being said, let's dive straight into it. So, here we are in Godot. As usual, first I am gonna introduce you what we already have. Here's our level scene. It has a tile map that contains two tiles, floor and wall. They are of size 16 by 16. And for the wall, I have already set its collision. We also have the player that has just movement and a set sprite with collision shape. And the enemy that is basically of the same sprite but it's red, has its collision shape and it just has some base for movement. We also have our tile set, right? So first of all, in order to make our enemy find path, we somehow need to define where it can go. And tile set can help us with that. Go to tile set, this floor tile, add navigation on it. So what it basically means is that whenever you ask to create a path, this very tile will be considered as one that you can traverse. So the wall will not be traversed, it has no navigation on it, and furthermore it's a solid block. And also in the level we need a certain node that analyzes all of that and creates the path. Godot already has it, it's called navigation 2 d node, and you must put the tile map as a child. Rename it to level navigation, just for the sake of convenience. Why do we need to make tile map its child? Because this way the navigation node can access it and get what tiles are traversable. Okay, we are going to create the path in the aim. In order to do that, we are going to access the level navigation. But how we can access it? There are multiple ways, but I personally prefer adding it into groups. So add the level navigation to level navigation group and just save it here. And add the player to player group. Okay, now let's make some basic template room. Here is our room. Let's add the player and the enemy to it. Now we can create the pathfinding algorithm itself. Go to enemy. Here, first create a few variables. A path array, it will contain positions that we need to go through. Level navigation and the player. Well, if these variables will store the reference to these two nodes we have just put into groups. Okay, now we need to access these level navigation player. In my opinion, the best way to do that, since we need the navigation from the very start, is do it in the ready method. Here it is. So we get the tree, just not to write get tree all the time. And here we check if the tree, in other words the level, has something that is in group level navigation. And if it does, it will return an array of these nodes and we will pick the first one. As we said it, we will have the reference. However, there might be times when one of the nodes is not ready. Maybe it's not instantiated yet. In order to fix it, add this line. Boom. It says wait until you get three emits the signal idle frame. In other words, it will wait one frame. Now create two methods. Navigate that defines the next position to go to and generate path. And that's obvious what it does. So first of all, let's generate our path. So we check whether the level navigation and player are not now. And if we can work with them, get simple path. We generate the path. What does this function mean? Well, here is the function we are working with. So we give the start position, the enemy's position, the end destination, the player, and optimization. As it says, if optimization is true, the path is smoothed by merging path segments where possible. What it means is that it makes it shorter whenever it's possible. However, it's not always work and you'll see why later. For now, set it to false. Now, to the navigate method. Check whether we have some path at all and calculate the velocity based on the direction to the next point and multiply it by speed. If we reach the next destination, then delete this point from our path. 
because obviously you don't need to go to the position you have already been to you just need to forward right okay as we have it now let's add it to physics process and it's quite easy actually check whether the player and level navigation exist and if they do generate the path and navigate it's not the best practice to generate path every frame however our project is small and we are beginners here right so it's fine for now also before we start it will be quite useful if we had something that show us its path and we can add it go to enemy add line 2d to it and what it does is it makes a line that connects the dots in its points array add the reference to it and in the generate path set its points to the path value so always update it and in the physics process set its global position to vector zero let's go to our level scene and see what we've got it's not working <laughs> okay Okay, so for some reason in the level, the style of the floor was covered with navigation, but the scene itself wasn't, so I set it up and it's working now. As you can see, it's drawing the line of the path and it's going for us, right? There are times when this enemy could just cut the path and go straight to the player and that's exactly what the path optimization does however there is another problem if you do something like that it just stops it tries to cut the path and sometimes something like that can happen usually you would like to have some circlish collision shape to prevent that or some clever system but that's not the way i want it to be so that's it and in this episode I taught you how to make basic pathfinding in Godot with using its navigation. In the next episode we are going to enhance the system and add a detection area for the enemy. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope the video was helpful and you liked it, and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It was Ives and until next time.